Hey guys, TechMinch with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to force restart your frozen or stuck Apple Watch Ultra or any Apple Watch that you have so you can quickly fix it. So you may notice the watch is stuck, you can't touch it, not responding to this. You want to do this one trick, and this method will not delete any of your data on it. So, how do you do that? Well, first thing is you locate the crown and the side button. We need to press and hold both of the buttons at the same time until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo appear at that time you let go. So I'm going to go ahead and press it at the same time just like this, right? And you want to keep on pressing and holding. Now if anything pops on the screen just ignore it and just keep on holding it. And as you can see here the screen went completely black which is good. And I'm going to wait till I see the Apple logo before I let go of those two buttons. So as you can see here and I see the Apple logo I let go of those buttons just like that. And basically what we have done is shut down the software on the Apple Watch and then have it reload the code to fix any software related issue which is probably the most the reason why it's probably frozen or stuck or unresponsive. Again like I said this method is completely safe. Sometimes you may need to try it a few times to get the hang of it. So if it doesn't work the very first time don't worry just keep on trying it because you have to press both of the buttons at the same time. And you can do it as many times as you need to until your issue is fixed. If it's still frozen or stuck, just keep on doing it and eventually it should work for you. And I have done this a few times and this is Apple's number one troubleshooting step. And after that, hopefully it will be fixed again. Just press and hold both of these two buttons at the same time, just like that. And as you can see here, I'm doing it one more time here just to give you an idea. And because it does take a little bit of practice to get the hang of it, but anytime you're having any software or even hardware related issue or any kind of issue, do this very first step and you'll see that your Apple Watch will be working like brand new again and everything should be fine. And I hope this video was helpful. If so please do consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your Apple Watch and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.